Hey everyone, so I am out taking a walk. I needed a moment to get myself together. Uh, Samara came home last night and it was nice to really have her home again after everything that we've been through. Um, but then last night proved to be stressful because of course, as I've said before, never a dull moment. So to make a long story short, um, I caught a medical error in terms of one of her medications. And so um, I was up on the phone with the PICU, which is the pediatric ICU nursing um, manager and pharmacy and poison control, trying to make sure that the dosing that she got wasn't toxic or, you know, to find out what we needed to do or what we were supposed to look for. She basically got 10 times the amount of a medication that she was supposed to receive. So that was the first part of my night where I was pretty upset. I was angry, I cried, I yelled a little bit. Um, that was the first part of the night. And then Samara also, even before we left the hospital, had been doing some of these uh, little breath holding spells, particularly when she has to poop. And yesterday she did that a couple of times, but then last night at around maybe 4.30 in the morning or so, she um, started doing this coughing type of move where it looked like she was about to throw up. So I had turned her to her side because it looked like she was about to throw up. But then it looked like she was choking all of a sudden. And then her oxygen levels dropped to a ridiculous number very quickly. And she turned colors like she looked gray. And we quickly grabbed the ambu bag. I bagged her because to be honest with you, she dropped to the number one. And for any of my people out here who know that your oxygen is supposed to be 100% or close to it. One means you're pretty dead or almost close to it. And so we bagged her. She came back up to 100 and we ended up changing her trach because she had sounded very mucousy and we could hear her crying, which because of the trach, we really shouldn't hear her cry. And so um, we changed the trach and she stabilized and stayed at 100. I stayed up for a while with Sammy because it was his turn to be awake. I stayed awake for a while. And then um, I finally went to sleep at probably like 5.30 this morning. She's been fine ever since. And um, I'm not gonna get into all the medical terms about like what happened and why it happened and what we did and what we're gonna do. And I came outside to get some fresh air, walk Scooby, our dog. Um, and get ready for this day as I make phone calls to follow up on all the different things that have been happening and what happened last night and everything. Um, so this video is about trauma because we've been through a traumatic experience and you've probably gone through something traumatic as well. We've all had different traumas in our life. So if you're a medical parent, you definitely understand the story I just told and you know how crazy things can get very quickly and if you're not a parent with a child that has um, disabilities then you've gone through something traumatic in your life at some point you might be going through something traumatic right now and so how do we cope we get that question quite a bit and I've answered that in some of my videos in the past but I want to talk also about acknowledging trauma because I think a lot of times we want to sweep it under the rug we want to smile through it and act like everything is okay or we do the opposite some people become very depressed or get very anxious and have a hard time handling their emotions so how do you handle the traumatic things or you know experiences that you may have had in the course of your life we all have our different coping mechanisms um, and I just want to talk a little bit about um, not just faith because I've done that a lot and that is my go-to that's my go-to faith is my go-to um, but I have other tools you know I have other tools that help me so for example right now I'm taking a walk um, I have you know very nice weather thank God <laughs> right now sorry to those of you in cold weather at the moment I've had to do things like practice deep breathing something as simple as breathing can change how you feel um, and I won't get into all of the specifics about that because you can always Google how to do relaxation techniques, etc. 
but something as simple as deep breathing can help you in a moment of stress last night i was so tense i honestly had a whole meltdown when everything was finally said and done samara was stable and sleeping i had finished with all the phone calls and updating sammy about what had happened with the medication and everything i literally just burst into tears and probably had a good five minute at least good like bawling session where i let all my frustrations out people think oh you're like i get it all the time like wow you're so strong and it's like i mean i guess yeah you know um because god helps me through it but i'm a real person with real emotions i cry i get angry i i am a firm believer in not holding in emotions we were given emotions for a reason and it's to express them now I'm not going to sit here and cry for the whole day because how is that going to help me, Samara, anybody? And that goes with any emotion, anger, sadness, frustration. And I'm also a firm believer in therapy. And I know that it's taboo for a lot of people to seek help. And, you know, especially sometimes even Christians are very much a just take it to God type of, you know, mentality. And yes, take it to God. I agree. But sometimes you also need someone to help you process your thoughts. Sometimes it has to be somebody outside of your family that doesn't know you or outside of your friends um, that doesn't know you. I am blessed that I do have great support in terms of, you know, having a husband who listens and I can process things with. I have family, church members. I'm a mental health professional. I have many friends who are. My brother's a psychologist. So I get to do all the venting that I want to do. But you know what? Every once in a while, I still see a therapist. Why? Because I just feel like it. I feel like talking to someone else, saying maybe something that maybe I just need to get out and then process how I'm going to have that conversation with someone else. Sometimes, maybe. Honestly, I haven't felt like I've needed therapy through it, but I check in every once in a while just to vent, just to share my story, just to get it out because it's necessary. So if you're going through something traumatic, it's important for you to seek help. Do not feel like you can't talk to someone about what is going on. If you don't have the people in your circle that you can talk to, then please, if possible, seek therapy. Trauma is real. Trauma is real and we all experience it in different ways. And I think the worst thing that we can do for trauma is ignore it. The life of a medical parent is something that I couldn't have imagined. And I've always worked in the medical field with people with disabilities, with children with disabilities. So I always knew the struggle, but I never experienced the struggle from this perspective. And this life is traumatic. Um, the, the fears that we have last night, Samara could have died like she literally could have died had we not been trained on what to do and how to f help her and even with training I know many parents that have the training that they needed and yet they you know things still happen because things happen and so trauma is real um so for my medical parents like I I feel you as we say and for people that are not medical parents and are just going through something in life Seek the help that you need. Seek God first. And then he will direct you to the people that you need that can help you get through your current trauma. But more than anything, do not ignore your trauma. Do not push it under the rug because it will come back to, to haunt you. And you'll it'll express itself in ways later that you couldn't imagine. And so that's my little two cents for the day. This video, I don't even know how long it's going to be once I finish putting it together. But I hope that you watch till the end. I hope that you continue to watch our channel. We're trying to show you our life, show you how we cope, um, you know, help you um, in ways that I hope um, can enhance your spiritual walk. Um, because I know that me sharing with you is helping mine. Uh, take care. Thank you so much again for watching. Many blessings. Please continue praying for our family and we will be praying for you guys. God is just a prayer away. All you need to do is call. He will hear your faintest cry. He's concerned.